So we're checking in on Cosmic Skeptic, who puts himself out as an atheist, has been a very big voice in the YouTube space. But recently, Alex, for who a long time identified as vegan, has admitted he really can't maintain that any longer. And he gave a few cryptic answers as to why, and he finally provided a much more full-fledged answer. And we're going to hear a response, and it is going to be brutal, so I advise people... Although there's no real cursing, it is going to be very harsh towards Alex. So if you are pro-Alex, you may not want to hear this. I myself have liked some of his content, but I've always been suspicious of a lot of the content as well. So let's hear the response and his initial explanation as to what happened. As you can get this stuff from a supplement, so he's been around long enough. So it's really difficult to, to find a balance here between trying to, to talk about my experience whilst trying not to make it just sound like I'm making a bunch of excuses and trying to make you feel sorry for me. I'm not going to be able to give you all of the details of, of the certainly the mental health stuff that I was talking about. I know that people are upset and people are angry, but the amount of vitriol that I've received, I've seen... So Alex has gone through some stuff, right? And he doesn't have to tell us about it. And I feel bad for him in that case. But I also am an animal rights activist and he came into the movement to defend animals. He has come out with flaky excuses in his community post for eating animals again. And he left it up to us to make assumptions, right? And there was many, there was a lot more he said in this than just, I have been- I agree. Uh, if the issue is your medical condition, that is tragic. But again, Alex, I think makes pretty good money from his channel. So you'd think, well, then just see some experts about your diet. And if his issue is some mental issues, I agree there, that's a private issue. I am not going to get into my own biography, but people do suffer from mental trauma. That is a serious, serious dilemma. If he needs to adjust himself to do that, that's fine. But I agree, that's technically irrelevant to the situation. Again, people have all these issues, yet they maintain a stance as an animal rights activist or vegan, right? In other words, you could have all these traumatic issues, but you still maintain your veganism. So how does that really answer the question? It feels like these are really just things to distract the person from seeing what he is admitting to, which is that he's kind of morally evil and a vicious hypocrite because he's made a lot of money, publicity from being a vegan, but now he finds it inconvenient. So he's just dropping the mask and saying, well, I don't really believe this vegan stuff anymore. It's just, it's just becoming too much of a burden. I mean, maybe it is. I mean, carrying around diet pills or having an extra backpack all, all the time or perhaps paying more money for a therapist just so you can maintain your veganism is a burden. But is it the same as animals being tortured on these farms and so on and so forth? Probably not. So I do agree he is now morally evil by his own standard, which is pretty bad. But now we're going to get more into the response. And there I'm going to diverge a little bit. Uh, expect that a bunch of people who care about... The pigs are being gas chambered right now. Um, dairy cows are being you know, raped and slaughtered. Their calves are being bashed in the head to death and... The last thing the animals need is someone who was defending them to come out and go, you know what, I've reevaluated my ethical stance on eating them. That is the last thing the animals need. And no matter how hard you are doing it in your life, you know, you know for a fact that uh, these animals that you're eating, whatever they, if they see animals, are suffering horrible deaths on the deck of a boat being dragged out of the ocean, all right, so that you can eat them. You know that. All right, so of course we're going to come out and think of the, the victims, all right? You're still sitting here in the UK as a privileged human being going through some stuff. And I've been through a hell of a lot of stuff. I had a loaded gun in my mouth, going to blow my brains out. I know exactly what mental health issues are. I've been in the mental health ward before. Um, I've been on antidepressants, antipsychotics, you name it. So I understand, all right? But I also know a lot of animal rights people with mental health issues and they don't come out with statements like this. They have IBS, they might have Crohn's disease and they are vegan and animal rights activists. What you came out with was something a little different. And and I saw this coming because of your rhetoric before that. If you were going through such a hard time, why are you on Michaela Peterson's channel throwing the animals under the bus and calling her a vegan by your standard? If she has to eat carnivore because of health, then she's a vegan. You know, like that doesn't sound like, why are you doing all these speaking engagements going through this horrible, horrible thing? Um, that you sound pretty, you sound strong enough to put yourself through that, right? Going through this horrible thing and putting yourself in these. So situations. Alex is morally evil. He's a liar. He's a hypocrite. That's pretty bad. And if you look at analogous cases, it's always going to come off 
pretty harsh, right? In other words, if you're anti-war, you can sort of say, well, I'm committed to anti-war, but not full pacifism. You can maintain some kind of consistency, but if you're still for, quote, violence in other areas, that looks a little weak. So somebody like Noam Chomsky has done a lot of great things on many causes, many peace causes, but he's not technically a pacifist, and he's made a huge amount of exceptions for certain left-wing regimes. But at the end of the day, he has saved thousands upon thousands of people. So he's not a Nazi, but is he morally evil? Yes. So he's not a credit to his cause in many cases. You'd have to probably say, this isn't a morally good person. He did morally good things, but he's very questionable. I think that's where Alex would land. He's not a Nazi. Believe me, I've studied Nazis. They can be pretty awful. So he's not at the level of mass murder, but is he contributing to some awful practices? Yes. I've seen some documentaries I boned up on the literature, and it is very strong evidence. And I myself cannot, and I'll admit, I'm weak of will. I do like meat products. I do think the animal rights case is strong. The reasons to join this cause are very strong. So I'd have to admit, I'm just not strong enough to maintain that stance, and that's just how it is. As for Alex, uh, I don't know. This looks really, really bad. The best he can do is try to mitigate what has happened and do more and be more active with the cause, but... From now on, he probably shouldn't be deriving any benefits in terms of money or publicity from, quote, being a former vegan. And a lot of people are congratulating him. At least he's being honest. No, he's not. This is just public relations stunt. At least he addressed the question. But I do think his reasons for no longer being vegan are very, very weak. And that's unfortunate because he maintains a lot more, quote, skepticism in other cases. But with himself, he's asking really just to be, let's just be charitable and just say, uh, you know, Alex, he's just a good guy, but he can't be a vegan. Uh It goes way deeper than that, so we'll have to wait and see if he can improve his stance.